Good morning, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds to 9 o'clock with news a major credit rating agency has downgraded all four Aussie banks, including their New Zealand subsidiaries. Moody's has cut the long-term ratings of the New Zealand banks ANZ, ASB, BNZ and Westpac to A1 from AA3. That is a one-notch downgrade and takes them out of the very strong classification and into the strong category. At the same time, Moody's has changed their outlook from negative to stable. This change comes as their Aussie parents suffered a similar one-notch downgrade from AA3 to AA2 and leaving them in the very strong category. A key reason these ratings are so high, says Moody's, is their expectation that each bank would receive strong Australian government support if they encountered any difficulties. Moody's cited the reason the New Zealand banks get the rating they do is conditional on the expectation that the Aussie parent banks would support the New Zealand operations in the event of difficulty. Moody's did not mention New Zealand government support as the basis for their ratings. They also said the new credit rating level is supported by strong standalone financial profiles, asset quality is currently very strong, and capital remains robust. They also said all four each have a strong buffer to withstand rising risks in the housing market as household leverage and house prices continue to rise, increasing sensitivity to employment shocks or an eventual rise in interest rates. One analyst says these downgrades will not affect funding costs. In another news, the head of the New York Fed says that while American inflation is a bit low, it should rebound alongside wages as the labour market continues to improve. He said the recent patch of weak data is unlikely to derail plans to keep raising interest rates. In Brussels, the Brexit talks are finally underway. It will be a long process, and interestingly, the UK side is being led by a former New Zealand diplomat and current professor at Lincoln University. His role is as chief advisor. In China, an academic crackdown is underway. Higher education must adhere to correct political orientation, President Xi said in a high-profile speech to top party leaders and university chiefs. Universities must be transformed into strongholds that adhere to party leadership, and political education should be made more appealing, he said. It has been described as the latest front of Beijing's effort to quell opposition to its rule. It may not be obvious to outsiders, but clearly there is growing disconsent. In New York, the US 10-year yield is higher today at 2.19%. The curve in vision in China is extending with the 210 variance now six basis points. The oil price is lower today, it's just under 44.50 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just under $47. And the price of gold is lower as well, down $9 to $1,245 an ounce. And continuing the trend, the Kiwi dollar is a little lower too, but only against the greenback, where it's at 72.3 US cents. On the cross rates, run changed at 95.2 Aussie cents and 64.8 Euro cents. The TWI is at still at 76.7. I'm David Chaston. That was 9 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.